I'm here today as a representative of the Save Block 11 committee. I am also here as a resident of the Sky Club, as a resident of the Fourth Ward, as a resident of Hoboken, and as a resident of Hudson County. I'm here today to show my support for both these resolutions and the one ordinance. But first, let me start off with telling you a little bit about myself. I grew up in Florida and then moved here to Hoboken six years, six years ago after graduating from college. I had spent four years living on campus and wanted the same type of community feeling. Also, I knew not a single soul when I moved up here. Therefore, the lady in my company's HR department said Hoboken was the place for me to go. And she was right. My first weekend here was spent in Church Square Park. So was my second weekend and third weekend and so on. I spent many hours playing basketball and just having a good time. But after a while, it became frustrating because the park was always way too crowded. And I would have to wait 20 minutes to get a chance to play. Then, because I'm not that very good of a player, my team would lose in five minutes and I'd have to, I'd have to wait all over again. Eventually, I just stopped going. And sad to say, my basketball skills have gotten even worse. Over the past six years, I've had friends from out of town come visit me. We would get up in the morning, or maybe more like noon, and try to get out and play a little five-on-five tag football. But there was nowhere to play. Do you realize how frustrating it is to go all over town and not be able to find a place to play a little game of five-on-five? Do you realize how embarrassing it is as a Hoboken resident that my city doesn't have this type of space? Well, it's been six years, and I'm here today asking you to pass these resolutions and ordinance. Because when will we have another chance to bring a six-acre park to the city? Again, I ask, when will we have another chance to bring a six-acre park to the city? It's not an easy thing to do. And if we refuse to move forward now, we will lose this opportunity. If we don't pass these resolutions and ordinance, this six-acre park will become a five-acre park, and then a four-acre park, and then three acres, two acres, down to possibly even half an acre park. And uh, to be quite honest with you, I don't even think we could label that a park. I think we label too many places, too many open spaces in this, uh, in this area as parks when they're not really so. A few pieces of metal stuck together for kids to play on is not a park. It's a jungle gym. It's a playground. A 30-yard by 30-yard lawn is not a park. It's a field. Um, 20 yards of concrete on 2nd Street where young school kids play during recess, that's not a park. That's just embarrassing. A park has playgrounds and fields and tennis courts and basketball courts and many more features. It's a place where a person or a couple or a family can go spend a whole day. And we're missing this in Hoboken. And yes, I think we need it in Hoboken. And yes, we now have a very realistic chance of bringing it to Hoboken. Now, I really don't want to stand here and discuss the recent developments of the city's financial situation. But I do think that that could be an easy excuse why not to be supportive today. But I disagree with that, and I'll tell you why. While we now find ourselves under a microscope, I feel that it's important to stand up and prove to everyone watching that we can move forward, that we have the ability to still plan for Hoboken's future, that while we may be handicapped by what's been going on lately, we're not paralyzed, and we can still work on making the city a better place for all its residents. And that's what you have a chance to do today. Please remember that this area, Block 11, is already designated for, space in the, for park space in the master plan. Hundreds of thousands of dollars and countless hours of community support were spent on this plan. We should follow through with this master plan that the city adopted. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the city council voted 9 nothing for the application for funding from the county to acquire this land for park space. All I'm asking is that the council continue its generous support with today's resolutions and ordinance. Rami, you have one minute. I realize it may be difficult, especially with the possibility of using eminent domain, but it's important. Let's not forget that New York City's Central Park would not be here today if it weren't for eminent domain. This could be our Central Park, but it needs to include Block 11. I want to finish up here uh, with us taking a moment to imagine 5, 10, even 20 years from now. Hopefully all of you will still be living here in Hoboken, and maybe some of you will still be involved in the political scene, or maybe not. But imagine sitting in this beautiful six-acre park with your spouse or your child or your grandchildren and being able to say, I had a hand in this. That this beautiful park, which will instantly become a Hoboken landmark, is because this board took a strong stance and made this happen. Once again, thank you very much for your time, and thank you very much for simply entertaining thank these you. resolutions. Thank you, Rami. Thank you.